Hey everyone, it's Miss Marty again. I'm going to be talking about some of our ocean water properties and the two factors that affect the density of water. Do you guys remember what are those two factors that will affect the density of water? You're right, salinity and temperature. So remember, salinity is the amount of dissolved salt in water and temperature is how hot or cold the water is. So let's take a look at some demonstrations to put this into practice. Right now, I have two things of water. I haven't put anything in it yet. So in one uh, beaker of water, I'm going to keep it as is. I'm not gonna put anything in it, so this is fresh water. There is nothing in it. Let's go ahead and dye it red. All right, then in this beaker of water, I'm going to add salt in it. So I'm going to show you, I'm adding lots of salt in it. I'm going to stir it up. And now I'm going to dye the salt water blue. Now I have a uh, fresh water with no salt in it and salt water with salt in it. And so when I put both of these in here and I take this out of the middle, I want you to guess what will happen with these two things of water when I allow them to mix? Will they just mix all together? Will one go on the top? Will one go on the bottom? Let's see. As we just saw, the fresh water is staying at the top while the salt water has sank to the bottom, which tells us that salinity does affect the density of water. We can see that the amount of salt added to water makes the water more dense, makes it heavier. And so that water will sink to the bottom so that water with less density or even water with no salt is less dense. It's lighter. And so it's going to rise to the top. So let's think about the ocean. Where do you think we would find the saltiest water? At the surface of the ocean or at a deep ocean trench? If you said a deep ocean trench, you're right. The saltier water is more dense, so it's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. All right, now I have a little magic trick for you guys. So I have a cup of water and I have a golf ball and I'm gonna try and make this golf ball float in the water. All right, let's give it a try. Cut. Okay, that didn't work because this golf ball is more dense than the water that it's in. Well, now I'm gonna try a different cup of water. Boom. I made a golf ball float in water. Magic. Just call me Magic Marty now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh God, that was cringy. I would love to convince y'all that this is magic, but it's actually just science. So what do you think I could have added into this water to make the golf ball less dense than the water that I put it in? You're right. I could have put salt in the water and that's exactly what I did. So now I changed the density of the water to be more dense than this golf ball. So we know salinity affects the density of water 
And the other factor that affects the density of water is temperature. So I have this warm water and this cold water. I'm going to do the same type of demonstration that I did with the salt water and the fresh water. So I want you to think what's going to happen when I mix the hot water and the cold water. Okay, so now I have my hot water and my cold water, and we're gonna see what happens when I let them mix. So we found that warmer water is less dense since it rises to the top and cold water is more dense since it sank to the bottom. So overall, there are two main factors that affect the density of water, the temperature and the salinity, how much salt is in it. We saw that warmer water will rise to the top while colder water will sink to the bottom. When we do the same with salt water and fresh water, we see fresh water will rise to the top while salt water will sink to the bottom, which also explains why the golf ball floats. Thanks for watching. You're the real MVP for actually making it this far. I want you to write Ayo in the chat when you get on Zoom so myself and all of the other science teachers know that you watched it. Can't wait to see you on Zoom so we can learn more science. Bye y'all.